Alright guys, let's go over problem 2 from the fundamentals of chapter 5. Alright, so as discussed in the previous video, uh, we want to draw the free body diagram of the one of the bodies and then draw the forces that are acting on that body. Okay, so let's see. In this case we have Again, a beam with negligible um, like uh, thickness. Okay, so we don't really care about the thickness in this one. If we do care about the thickness, they will give us. They'll specify like, okay, this is like I don't know, 0.5 meters or something like that. Okay, but in this case, they don't. So this is our beam. Okay, and then let's see. What are all the forces acting on it? Well, um, there is. A force here at B okay so let's call it FB that's four kilonewtons okay and then what else do we see here well at A there is a pin right so we know there's reactions there so let's see there's probably a y in this direction. Okay, and I'm just gonna guess. I'm gonna say, okay, a x is this way. Hopefully, I'm guessing wrong this time, so I can show you guys like why it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, okay, so we have a x and a y, and then there is one more thing here, which is this c d, uh, this little member over here, c b c d. Okay, this is a two force member. Okay, so all we're gonna do is draw force directly either going in this direction away from C or going into C okay and then this will come again when you're doing um, trusses so if we draw the force going into the member C so like if we if, we, if this is C and we say okay this is this is FCD then we're drawing this member in compression, okay? And you don't have to worry about that now, but you'll you'll start seeing it later on, okay? Now, this member, okay, is at an angle of 45 degrees because they give us the, the dimensions here of, you know, 1.5. If you look at the drawing, there's 1.5. This, this other thing is 1.5, okay? So we have... A 90, 45, 45 triangle. Okay, so that makes things a lot easier. So this is a theta of 45 degrees. Okay, everyone with me? I can't really hear you, but I'm assuming you are. Okay, and then we have our distances of 1.5. Sweet. Okay, and that is our free body diagram right there. Now, let's start just like we did before. Let's start with the equilibrium equations. Okay. So, um, oh, one more thing. So, almost went against what I usually do. Um, so we know that this force is in the at an angle of uh, forty-five degrees. Okay. Let's split it up into its its components okay that's not working okay so this is going to be FCD uh, sine 45 okay and then we're gonna have the next and I'm drawing it up here it's actually on the point C okay but I'm just gonna put it here just because it's getting a little too cluttered and this will be the cos 45. F cos uh, 45. I hope you're staying with me so you can do it instead of going back and trying to read this. Okay, this is FCD cos 45. All right, now we're done with that. Now let's do equilibrium equations F of x equals 0. All right. 
and everything in the X is going to be AX. What else do we have? We have plus FCD. And then cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Okay, now we don't have to carry that thing around all over the place. And that's it. Next thing will be FY is 0. And then we have AY minus, uh, yeah, minus FCD. Okay, sine 45, and again, this is going to be square root of 2 over 2, okay, and then minus 4 kilonewtons equals 0, okay. So let's see, we have two equations and three unknowns here, okay. So what can we do? Well, again, let's just do a moment equation about the point that has the most unknowns and that again is a that way we eliminate ax and ay from our calculations here and we're only so we look at fcd we look we're looking for the one that's perpendicular to the lever arm uh, from a to c pretty much okay uh, the x component again we take the line of action, it's going to intersect A, so we don't care about that one. So we only want FCD sine 45. Okay, so it's going to be FCD. I'm just going to actually draw it through this so you guys can know which one I'm talking about. Sine 45 times 1.5. Okay. And then which direction is it going? It's going positive. So it's trying to make it, it's trying to push it up. So we're trying to make it rotate uh, counterclockwise. Well, thanks. Okay. Now, the next thing is uh, we have one more force, which is the four kilonewton force, and that's trying to make it rotate clockwise. So that will be minus four times three for the distance, okay? That's equal to zero, all right? And now this will allow us to solve for FCD. FCD is equal to, so we have 12 divided by 1.5 times sine 45. So we have 11 point um, it's 0.13 kilonewtons. Okay, and notice how I have this as a positive number here. Okay, which means my assumption that it's going into pin C. Okay, was correct. So it is in it, it, in this case we do have compression. So this 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 B mem member DC is being compressed. Okay, and. Um, if I had, if I would have had a negative. It wouldn't change anything. All that, all that's gonna say is that my force FCD, my assumption was wrong. It's actually tension, so it's going away from C. Okay. So now let's plug this back in, and we're gonna have AX um, 11.31 times square root of two over two, and I get. Let's just say roughly a minus eight kilonewtons. Okay, and then plugging it into the second equation here, we have AY and around. So let's see, 11.31 times square root of two over two. Um, so that's plus and then plus four. And then we get roughly 12 kilonewtons here. Okay, so now let's look at the sign. So AX, I had a negative, okay? So that means if we look back at our free body diagram over here, that means my assumption of AX going into pin A like this is wrong. It's actually going 
away from a from a sorry so it's more like this okay and then a y I assumed correctly because it spit out a positive answer here F C D again we assumed correctly because it spit out a positive answer and then here you can just state it like this you can just fix it right away and say leave your drawing however you had it before without correcting anything but you can say eight kilonewtons okay in this direction that way you tell your professor hey it's going to the left not to the right okay and that's it that is uh, so we found the vertical components of reaction at pin a yep and um, the reaction at c on the beam at c oh yeah, yeah okay and yeah so we're done with this problem so you see it's pretty easy break it down all the forces x and y f of x f of y moment about some point and then our answers appear magically all right guys if you have questions or concerns any uh recommendations just shoot me a message or you know leave a comment down below uh thanks for your time i'll see you in the next video